Boom! What up? Solar Renekton only here, back doing some more League of Legends action. Whoa! The trade. We're playing some Karma in the top lane. You'll appreciate that, brother. We're playing some Karma in the top lane. We are against a G Pizzle. Should be a pretty good matchup for us, I think. But yeah. Ooh, get that good damage in. Back up. Oops. Hopefully I was still in range for that minion back there. But yeah, we're playing some tank karma, so we're going to be rushing 45% CDR. Going to be going for Ardent Sensor, Frozen Fist, or Iceborne Gauntlet, whatever the fuck it's called nowadays. Iceborne Gauntlet, um, Ardent Sensor, and Visage. Those are our three items that we're going for. Because if you didn't know, your W heals 20% of your missing health. And then it, on the first charge, and then on the second charge where it procs, it heals another 20% of your missing health. Add that in with shields and some resistance stats. And you already have insane base damage on your ability. Whew, look at those trades, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. And every time we hit them with an auto attack, it reduces our mantra cooldown by a little bit. It changes by the level. I think the breakpoints are 1, 7... 13. It's just like gangplank barrels. Okay. Oops. Oh my god, I almost got body blocked there. That would have been awesome. Alright, I see Jackson River. I'm going to ward here. I'm going to be really aggro right now. Ooh. Look at those trades, baby. Holy moly. This guy's going to have to back for sure. It would have been real good if I actually hit my... Uh... Hold up. Can I steal this from him? Ha! <laughs> gotcha. Ooh. I'll trade auto attacks right there. Let's pop a potion. Make sure I stay kind of high HP. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get ganked here. Oh, lame. Okay. Really? That's super annoying. Just keep autoing here. Boom. What up with that thing on your Ooh. face where your beard was? Less than three the stream. <laughs> yeah, I love you, Shout dude. out to Meatball. Roo, 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 roo. <laughs> Shout out to the Meatball. You'll appreciate that, dude. Much love, man. Easy peasy play. I just shield up my homie. This is why most people don't play Gangplank anymore in top lane. Because you just get dove constantly. Like, that's all you have to do. You play against a lane like mine, personally, I'm just going to poke the living shit out of you. Then eventually my jungler's going to walk top and collect the free kill. Because, you know, he really can't do much under tower. Like, he can sort of outplay. Like, he has the potential. Oh, wow. This minion walked in front. Body blocked for him. Uh. What? Oops. Alright, I got enough for my Sheen. Let's get out of here. So we're going to be rushing our 40% CDR. So that means we're going to get Sheen. We're going to get the... Basically rushing all of our early CDR items. But the one that gives you the most damage increase is the Sheen. Because you know how we're spamming out our spells. Now every time we spam out a spell, we're going to get an additional on-hit effect. That's going to do a ton of damage. Uh, I might buy another ward. Lame. Okay. <laughs> Good thing I bought an extra potion. I might pop it right now. Nah. I'm just going to let this wave uh, stay where it is right now. Put some under some pressure where he has to just use mana. Okay. I'll go get my control ward down on the back of this bush. Wait, they have to commit extremely far into the bush to take it out. Gives me more time to respond. Gives my jungler time to respond as well. Okay. Uh, missed it. Get that huge chunk, zone them off of these waves. I have a nice freeze set up here. Well, it's not really a freeze, but it's going to break in like a second. But it's nice to hold right now because I'm denying quite a few minions here. Nice. Force out some barrels. Ooh. They're just going to dodge up for some reason. Really? kind of feel like my auto went through first. Whenever he shoots out his Q like that, he can't Q the minions, obviously. Beautiful trades from us. 
Keep autos going. Back up. Oh, him. Oh! Oh, I was going to try to auto it. <laughs> oh, shit. Missed the minion. Nice. Got them all. Get some poke going. Some big poke. Sheen proc. Whew. Some real good damage. Adios, baby. I took that beautiful angle. He was trying to W too late. Hit him with that mantra Q. People don't understand. Your mantra Q has a shitload of burst. So in the early game, like, yeah, I'm going to be building tank items. But I'm getting a sheen. I'm spamming all the abilities. So my sheen's procking constantly, right? Like, <laughs> it's a lot of damage. It's a lot of pressure to deal with. Okay. So we have a couple of options here. We can probably grab this. It's going to give us some more CDR. It's going to be my buy, actually. Because we're going for... I don't think we're going to finish the gauntlet yet. I'm pretty sure we just want to keep rushing CDR items here. So we're going to get Kindle Gem, and then we're going to get the the Feral... What is it called? Feral Fly or some... Oh, Forbidden Idol, JK. <laughs> the Forbidden Idol that gives you 10% CDR and builds into your um, Ardent Sensor. My homie Shakaras, he plays uh, Tank Karma all the time. We talk about builds that we think are good. This is the one that he thinks is the best. I agree. I've done I've done like the Roa rush pr uh, plenty of times. I just don't feel like it's needed. I'd rather get into my full CDR, use my base abilities of my or my base damages of my abilities to carry me through. So yeah. Ooh, sick combo, bro. Sick combo, bro. <laughs> just gonna back up. I can play with this mini wave. Easy peasy. Took a little bit of damage there, but it's alright. Max E second. We already get the 20% out of our shield, so. I think I need to start pushing him. I shielded that, we're good. I don't think I wanna be I don't think I wanna be shoved in here. Oh shit. Nice play, dude. I don't see what he does here. All I have to do is keep distance. Yeah, there's just nothing you can do. I just have to keep distance away from his auto attacks, which is quite easy. Because I slow him while I speed myself up. And my homie from mid lane with the rotations. Beautiful play, brother. Tank Karma. It'll get you. We don't even we haven't even gotten to the crazy part yet. This is just like normal lane karma being a bully. Ooh. I shouldn't have warded first. Let's them know where I have vision. But I can take this out, shove this wave in real quick. Got the sheen proc here. Nice, take it out. Back to base, baby. Uh, do I want this or do I want the Kindle gem first? Um, I'm kind of fine in terms of uh, my my health pool. So I'm just going to grab this. Might have been better to buy boots right there, but I think this is a really solid buy. Increase my shield power. It gives me another 10% CDR. I think it's more effective than just rushing. Ooh. I don't have my teleport. If I had it, I would TP it immediately. And probably have done nothing. The only reason I would have TP'd immediately is because this guy was nearby. And if this dude lives and they don't flash like that, we can make big plays. But I'm just going to uh, push out my wave. Potentially teleport bot lane or something. Alright. Hold it with shield. Good try, sir. Oh yeah, I'm running attack speed in my runes, by the way. It's really helpful for uh, lowering your mantra cooldown and getting those autos in. Oh, what's up, punk? What's up, punk? Now what? <laughs> yeah, appreciate that, dude. Thanks for subbing. Ten months in a row. That's your ruin. Much love, Doug. Welcome back to the crocodile crew. Okay. When he gets aggro, I'm going to move up. Hey, dude. Come be my friend. I can flash here. Make sure I keep auto-attacking. Super important. RW. Shield. Q. Shield again. Kite. Ah. Oh. oh. 
Oh, God, just auto him. <laughs> there you go. All right, that works out good for us. Triple kill. I'll take that shit all day. All right, get our last bit of CDR here. Good to go. Sell this for a pair of boots. Perfect. All right, I'll take that. Uh, the one problem that happened is I should have RW'd. Somebody was going to stay closer than me. I RW'd the gangplank, and he broke the tether range because I got CC'd by Jax. So I lost out on 20% on my missing health, uh, which would have been massive. I would have lived 1,000% there. So I should have RW'd either one of these two guys, or I could have RQ'd earlier. If I RQ'd the gangplank, or right as they came off, right as they came over, all of them, that would have been a really solid play too. A couple different options there, but either way, I'm happy with the outcome of that. All right. Oops. Here we go. Push this in. I got like Huhi on my team over here. Putting it to work. Oh god. <laughs> Hopefully they don't die. It's Janna. It's kind of hard to kill them. Okay. Push this wave in. Auto all the backline once and then Q. Right as he goes for the minion. Get those autos in. Lower our mantra cooldown. Keep doing it. Oh, shield that. <laughs> this pressure is like actually insane. And it's just going to get worse because I have enough gold for my frozen fist. So it's going to be even harder for him to get away. Because each one of those spells is going to proc an auto attack effect that slows him. And it's going to be easier to get the backline minion wave. Because I just have to auto once instead of three times. He walks over this. There it is. Start poking. I can go for the W. Woo! Oh, my R never went off. What the hell? Whatever. <laughs> I guess that works. I tried to R, uh, RW right there so I could heal up. I should have healed 40% of my health. <laughs> I always fear Mike's frozen fist. <laughs> Holy shit. Iceborne Gauntlet. Whatever the fuck the item is called, dude. I forget. I don't build this dumb item. All right. We're good to go. Um, What do I want to do first? Art and Sensor, probably. I don't really need the uh, armor or anything at the moment. I can kind of just shit on this kid. So. <laughs> oh, man. RW is bugged, Mike. Yeah, I, I know. It's It's been annoying for a bit. He's got to, like, legit match the key. And make sure it goes off first. So you just have to go a little slower. It's like when you try and roll your fingers too quick, sometimes the R doesn't go off. It's extremely punishing, like if you get in those point blank situations, but most of the time you just mash the R key, you get the active, then you press the W. It's not as hard. But yeah, they should probably fix that. It's a little slower than it should be. But Karma's so. I wouldn't say busted. She's just really strong. I'm a big Karma fan. I think what you can do with this champion in terms of like team fighting and supporting in the mid game is also really good. Cannon minion secured. All right. Let me get a ward down. Keep pressuring this. I played sucker. Ooh. Oh my goodness, that damage though. <laughs> How do you deal with that? I got blue buff now too. That's so painful. Tag him with that. Oh, minions. Damn. I thought the minions were going to kill him, so I backed out. My bad. I could have stayed under. It's not like I was going to die to the tower. <laughs> Damn. I went for like the fadeaway minion killing him. They didn't finish him. Oh, what the fuck are you doing? Huh? What are they trying to do here? Do you understand how my champion works? I am like not ever gonna die in that spot. Easy peasy. Shield it. Beautiful. <laughs> I don't think he understands what my champion does, dude. This you're never bursting out of karma. Like you gotta be like Syndra level burst to burst out of karma. I'm for sure not going to get bursted out by a, a jungle Jax in the like mid game. There's just, it's simply not enough damage. I RW immediately when he tries to go for his stun and then it's just over from there. Just downhill from there, buddy. Max shield. 
too damn tanky. Ooh, should I clear this. I should ward over just in case. I don't want them like surprising me or something. All right, gonna back real quick. I have tons of gold. I want to start spending it. Uh, I'm gonna go for boot upgrade as well. Extra movement speed is gonna be really solid. I have teleport if it's needed, which it might. Uh, oh, I don't have teleport. Just kidding. <laughs> Never mind. All right. Now we are doing good. The karma support. Hell no, dude. <laughs> this karma is disgusting. 60 CS lead already. This is one of like the best champions that play against Gangplank now that I'm thinking about it. Because your dives under tower are so free. Because you see what I'm doing under tower by myself, right? I just walk under. I didn't even RW correctly. And I still like walk out with like 300 health or something. So when you get jungle pressure with that, yeah, there's really no answer from Gangplank. Because I'm never going to die under tower, so I'm probably the best champion to dive with. Other than, like, a Renekton is a really good diver too, right? He gets all that extra health. But I'm, like, legit never dying. So, <laughs> alright. Pressure out my lane, get deep wards, make sure I can't get uh, surrounded by a few people. Let me check this for a pick. Oh, yeah. That's what I thought. SRO, I subscribed when you were tilted AF. Yo. Can I get a boom and welcome to the alligator crew? The alligator crew? That's not me. <laughs> Boom. Welcome to the crocodile crew, brother. <laughs> Hope you enjoy your stay, my friend. These guys actually want to fight. I can probably win 1v2 pretty easy, actually. Do they have ignite? Oh, no, they don't. I can win 1v2 for sure. What's up, homie? You're kind of fast. Getting tons of pressure in mid. I'm just going to keep pressuring this. I can rotate around in a second. I'm rotating around. Oh god, that's not good. He's in trouble. I got shields. There's one. I got RW. Got RW again. How annoying is this shit? What in the fuck? <laughs> oh, I might have to flash there. <laughs> you see how ridiculous this shit is? I don't even have my increased healing regen from uh, the passive of... Ooh, he should probably try and take this out. Don't do it. Okay. Yeah, I don't even have the extra healing from this yet. This is going to increase my W by 30%. Pretty damn good. And we're just adding more tanky stats as we go. Uh, do I have home guards? Not yet. I will in a second, though. I'm going to go try and kill this guy. Ah, damn. He knows. He, can, he should be able to outplay me. Lame. Yeah. Just going to go clear the wave. What the fuck? What are you doing, guy? Oh, shit. What? Hold up. Man, my RW didn't go off again, dude. That's so annoying. What did it go off on? Did it go off on shield or some shit? What? Oh, maybe it wasn't back up yet. No, it was definitely up. I hit way too many spells. I don't know. I'd have to rewatch. I did something wrong. I'm pretty sure I could have done that. When I was getting Oriana ulted, my plan right there was the RW, but something didn't work. I don't know. I think I screwed up somewhere. Lame. I should have had that easy. Because that RW would have kept me outside of uh, Merlin Omicron range. Then we would have been good. Damn, dude. Lame. Used RE. Yeah, that's what I mean. Noob. It should have been easy for me. Must have fat fingered my E or something. Spam out my E, get back to Lin. Oh god. This is not a great fight for us. Off the start. It's actually developing into a great fight though. Because the way the battle lines formed it's really good. Gotcha. Got the whole squad though. Oh, what's up, dude? <laughs> What's up, dude? Alright. 
He should be able to take this out. I think Baron's more important than Inhib. I mean, I guess we can do both. Alright. R E to give my whole team shields. I just love how versatile this champion is. That's like my favorite thing. Because if I'm not doing too well, I can just turn into a support, you know? If I am doing well, I'm just going to never die. <laughs> Until I forget to RW. <laughs> Alright. Alright, Q. Miss a cannon minion. Cry a little bit. Alright, sweet. Got my whole item, all the items I want. I can start adding in some AP. Probably gonna go for a Void Staff here for my one AP item off the start. Should be pretty solid. Um, yeah. Got my 45% CDR. <laughs> so dumb. Four seconds. 4.4 seconds on a shield that's gonna shield 250 damage. Four, it's 245. 2.7 seconds on my Q. Mantra is 21 seconds, but remember, it's getting reduced by 3 seconds for every time I hit a spell. Oh. And 1.5 seconds for every auto attack. That's why it's super important to weave your auto attacks. I mean, not not just for that. You got a sheen, too, so you should want to, you should want to, you know, weave in auto attacks anyways just to maximize your damage output. Want to get a ward over here? Ooh. I'm going to just walk mid and start autoing this thing. They're all defending this up here. Walk into these creeps. Q once. Look at this guy, dude. What is he trying to do? I'm like full health still. <laughs> Good job. RW. Shield. Beautiful. Still full health. <laughs> still full health. Get a nice chunk there. Shield again. Uh-oh. Got the shield for you, dude. Oh, what? What? How the fuck is that in tower rage? Get the fuck out, or in the turret rage. Come on. I was trying to get the flash heal, or the flash Q before he got any health. <laughs> Alright. A little too aggro. Just a bit. Oh my goodness. I think I'm gonna go Ludens, actually. Hold up. It still builds out of this, right? Yeah, okay. Oh my god, dude. I was trying to flash here to guarantee the Q, because the way it... The way you line up the skill shot, I won't bore you, but the way you line up the skill shot, you literally can't miss. So I flash to line it up, get the Q, to finish. Guy Liz, he got like two ticks of heal. I could have done it with one tick of heal, but the second tick screwed me. And then somehow I was in tower range, or in uh, laser beam range. I can come here, dude. You can make a play all day on this guy. I'm gonna run past the main wave first. Try and find him. There he is. Ooh. Oh, he died. I gave him a shield, too. Feels bad. I shouldn't have RQ'd trying to hit him. He jumped right as I shot oh, it shit. out. Oh, shit. It's ya, boy, skinny <laughs> penis. Coming for ya. <laughs> yeah, what's up, skinny penis? How you doing, brother? Alright. Ooh. Someone's over here. Got him. Some decent poke. Let Caitlyn get that. Ooh. I think he was going to kite up. Just took like three tower shots, did nothing. <laughs> what would your favorite poppy matchup be? Less mm, than three. One that I win. <laughs> I, I don't actually know what my favorite one is. 
Nice. Sweet. Shield this guy up. Shield him up again. Good job, dude. Want another shield, brother? I got more. I got many more shields. All right, Mr. Gangplank. I got a shield, dude. I'm in. At what point do we do damage? Oh, no! I'm dead! Oh, wait. I'm full health. <laughs> this is so dumb. Every time I play Karma, I just remember how dumb it is. Oh, no! I'm gonna die! <laughs> this is actually so dumb. Oh, God. Oh. Alright. GG. Well played, man. <laughs> Dog, I'm oom, I got like 20 health. RW, boom, full health again. Alright. It, it, it's been fun, guys. <laughs> yeah, if you want if you want a fun champion to play, this one is, oh yeah, this guy had a great place. Great shot calling. That's what I'll give him. You're a great shot caller that game, dude. Now his roams are quite good though. But yeah. I think Take Karma is like actually absurd. <laughs> Your base damages are so ridiculously high, and then you rush CDR, right? So you rush CDR because your base damages are high. That means you don't need like a bunch of AP. You already have a lot of damage. So you amplify that by having those abilities come up faster with all that CDR rush. So 45% CDR rush on Tank Karma is like the absolute dream. And then you just RW whenever you're in trouble. Literally RW, RW, RW. Just constantly getting the health going back. And then you're using your other abilities to stay alive. And you're constantly auto-attacking, hitting your Qs. That way you get your mantra down so you can RW again. Because remember, your mantra, the cooldown is long. It's like 30 seconds. But that shit goes down because of all your CDR. It goes down because of, you know, 3 seconds every time you hit a spell. 1.5 seconds every time you hit an auto-attack after like level 13, I think. But yeah, that is it for the day. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed that Karma game. Make sure to tune in next time. I'll catch you guys then. Peace.